I just got these plates put on and I ran the electrical wires over and I realized I have to have a, a metal, this is all actually secured. We have bars all the way around except for right here at the bottom. I realized I actually do have to put uh, a bar in here so that when I cut the fabric on the outside, I have something to attach the fabric to. Well, just got both of the, uh, these are actually the inlets uh, for the fan, or I guess they'd be outlets if we turn the fan in the other direction, but either way, um, the ports, the ports, the fan ports are in. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, the stomach is like just ill, ill putting these in. Um, you absolutely have to have them. You can't not have them. And the reason for that is in the summer, when we have an insulated building, this thing is going to get super hot. You have to have vents to be able to move air in. You absolutely have to have it for summertime, guaranteed. So, has to be there. But, oy, you know, metal conducts heat really well. Um, they're louvers. They're kind of somewhat sealed, but they've still got gaps in them. You can just feel the heat up there, and it's just like, ugh. But in the winter time, we need it for two reasons. If you've been following along, you know, but if you're brand new, the two reasons are, we gotta bring more CO2 into the building to help the plants. If you seal the building like what we've been doing, eventually they, they consume the CO2, and uh, while the building's not airtight, it does take a while for that CO2 to get back in there and have air changeover. It's kinda like if you're laying in bed at night and you're in the northern latitude and you got lots of blankets on, you pull the blankets over your head and you start breathing. Um, you know, it kind of gets really stuffy in there because you're using up all the oxygen. Same idea, only it's inside the building and we're using up, the plants are using up the CO2. So it's not airtight, you're not going to suffocate uh, in there, but you know, they're not going to breathe as well. They're not going to be as comfortable as what they should be, so they're not going to grow as well. So you got to get more CO2 in there. And, and most importantly, uh, the second reason, you, you got to be able to get the moist air out of there and while we do have the dehumidifier running in there and it gets about five gallons a day of water out of the air there's still a lot of condensation just because of, of thermodynamics just because of physics as soon as that warm air hits the surface of the building that's cold which is going to be the clear area from now on once we get the insulation in um, instantaneously goes over to uh, a water it goes through a phase change there so um, we want to remove as much of that as possible out of the building because if you don't, uh, that leads to mold, mildew, funguses, and just all sorts of bad stuff that can really uh, hurt people, uh, not to mention the bad growing operations. So those are the two reasons why these have got to go in here. So now we have these essentially cold air intakes uh, in the building um, and I can turn the fan on once I get it all hooked up and we can do that air exchange, but it just, it just hurts. You know, all the insulation and everything we're trying to do here, you put this on, it's just like, yeah. Anyway, let me show you. They came out nice. This one there. And then this one I just finished up. So my next step is I gotta get inside and actually start putting insulation up on this side. Uh, but I'm gonna end this video here, so I hope you enjoyed following along as we got the vents all put in. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian, out.